Good afternoon, Pro Wrestling Universe, and welcome to the 66th episode of the Pro Wrestling Show podcast. Today's show promises to be very epic, and it's all about this last Sunday's Hell in a Cell pay-per-view from the American Airlines Center in Dallas, Texas. We all we started the program with the one with the one hour special Hell in a Cell kickoff. And it's presented by Mountain Dew Kickstart. Kickstart your night with Mountain Dew Kickstart. Renee Young, Renee, your panelist, with your panelist, Renee Young, WWE Hall of Famer, five-time world champion, Booker T, along with Alex Riley and your special guest. He is the client of the current WWE World Heavyweight Champion. He is the one, 21 and 1, Brock Lesnar, Paul Heyman with your guest, special guest panelist, to kick off the kickoff. They pre- <clears throat> they previewed they previewed the superstars and the divas on how they got to hell to hell in a cell, and then we go to Ms. Dow TV with your host Damian Ms. Dow and special guest the Miz. What a Miss Dow TV it was. It was a phenomenal one. As Damien Miss Dow talks about his guest, The Miz, on when he faces later in the program the United States champion, Sheamus. Sheamus comes in, comes in backstage from the American Airlines Center, and he promises to defeat The Miz for the United States championship. And then Seamus ends the promo with a bro kick to the TV camera. He bro kicks the TV camera, and we move on to our first match of the evening for the kickoff. It was the world's largest man, Mark Henry. He takes on the inspirational Bo Dallas. Um, Mark Henry defeats Bo Dallas by the world's largest slam to, to end that match. And then he adds... Some carnage right after the match to Bo Dallas, and that will end the kickoff. Now, 2014 Hell in a Cell is presented by WWE 2K15 The Game, which is available today for Xbox 360 and PS3. Now, for the for the view for the UK, you can get it November 18th for PS4 and Xbox One. Now, we kick off the pay-per-view with a great, phenomenal two two out of three falls match for the WWE Intercontinental Championship. Now, this match was definitely, definitely phenomenal with Cesaro and Ziggler to kick both to kick off the pay-per-view. This was a great match uh, when Sheamus puts... No, excuse me. No, I'm sorry. When Cesaro puts uh, Dolph into his, his Cesaro swing, and i got to tell you, that swing is definitely a big thing. It gets you a little dizzy. Who oh, dizzy didn't eat that burger before he uh, did this match. But anyway, phenomenal match. Dolph gets the first ball. And then Dolph gets a second fall to win the match to retain his Intercontinental Championship over Cesaro. Now we go to Divas action. It was it 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 was Brie Bella taking on Nikki Bella. Now whoever won this match, whoever won, I mean whoever loses this match will be the sisters. Assistant for thirty days. If no, if no, if no Bella, if nobody replies to that, they will have to leave the WWE. So, well, it wasn't what I predicted, but Nikki, your winner was Nikki Bella, and now Bree has to assist her sister Nikki. For 30 days. Well, later <clears throat> later in the evening, we saw Bree putting their luggage into the car. And then later, N- Nikki grabs her smoothie. 
and Nikki put, launches a smoothie on her sister Bree. Oh, poor Bree. I feel bad for her. For the next 29 days, uh, for sure. But let's move on to the next match. It was a fun. It was a phenomenal match. It was. It is for the WWE Tag Team Championships. It was like Goldust and Stardust, which is which they were the current tag team champions. Going into the match, they take on Jimmy and Jay, the Usos. When I say Us, you say Oh, and this match was definitely a phenomenal match. It was a flying match, and it was definitely phenomenal. Well, the ending was great, but uh, I gotta tell you, Golden Stardust were definitely on on a lot of offense in their match, and they retain their tag team championships. Okay, and now the next match. After that, we go to your first. Hell in a Cell of Two, Matt. Your first main event, your first main event of the night, it's a double main event. And it was the Viper, Randy Orton, taking on John Cena. Whoever wins this match will get a World Championship match with the Beast Incarnate Brock Lesnar. And I gotta tell you, this match was a phenomenal match from, from the start to the finish. John Cena goes up to the to the top right turnbuckle, and he launches Randy Orton with the AA through the table for the pin and the win. John Cena will now go on to face the Beast Incarnate himself, Brock Lesnar. Don't know when that match will be for the world title, but I will keep up to date with that, and I'll let you know when that will be. Now we go to your next match of the evening, and it is for the WWE United States Championship. Now, uh, the Miz, uh, the Miz took on, uh, Sheamus, by the Miz, was the Miz down, and it was definitely a great match, uh, from the start to the finish, Sheamus put on a, an, um, an amazing finish with the bro kick to retain his United States Championship, his United States Championship, and I gotta tell you, this man, yeah, he's Irish, and he loves to fight. He loves to fight, and and he's a phenomenal U.S. champion in my book. Now we get to your next match. It was represented as USA versus Russia, uh, the Big Show, the world's largest athlete. The Big Show took on R- Rusev alongside Lana. Now this was a great match, and I really wanted uh, the Big Show to win, but. He tried everything he could to win the match. And I got to tell you, that accolade that Rusev has, who there is no way anyone could get out of that. Rusev is undefeated in the WWE since he debuted. And I got to tell you, who will defeat Rusev? I, I wish I could, but whew, this guy's phenomenal. Okay, we go to your next match, and it's... And it's deep, more Divas action this now. And it's now for the WWE Divas Championship. It's Paige versus AJ Lee. Now, uh, Alicia Fox was in the corner of Paige. And what a phenomenal match this was. AJ Lee defeats Paige by her Black Widow to retain the WWE Divas Championship. Now, this was an amazing match. For the Divas, and it was something to remember by. As Paige kicks. AJ. And now we go to your main event of the evening, which is... Your second Hell in a Cell match. And let me tell you, ladies and gentlemen. I have seen these Hell in a Cell matches, and they are really... Oh, threatening to your body... I mean, when you go back to Judgment Day 2002, when Chris Jericho took on Triple H, uh, former referee of the WWE, Tim White, launched his body back to that steel, and it, that put the end of his career. But let me tell you, 
And also, when Undertaker threw off Mick Foley at the 98 King of the Ring, whew, I thought Mick had suffered a broken neck from that thing. But let me tell you, at the start of this match, um, Dean Ambrose, Seth Rollins, Will folks, it happened again. But both Seth Rollins and Dean Ambrose, they fell off that, they, they fell off of that steel pressure backwards. And from that, Seth Rollins now has injured ribs. And he was lucky that he, he had a match just 12 hours after that. Well, uh, in this match, it was very amazing. Uh, Dean, they both were lucky they got the match started because uh, Dean Ambrose, who just got out of his stretcher, and started headed for Seth Rollins before he could get out of the building on that stretcher. And so the match started. And a little bit of interference with Bray Wyatt. Has Seth Rollins defeats Dean Ambrose. And that was your 2014 Hell in a Cell results. A phenomenal pay-per-view it was from the American Airlines Center. Your next extravaganza coming up will be November 23rd. It's the... The Historic Survivor Series. Now, that's going to be a really good one. Now, let me go ahead and tell you about all my social media hookups so you can follow me on social media. And um, follow me on social media where you can get up to date with my podcast. Go to www. Excuse me. Go to www.facebook.com. Backslash the Pro Wrestling Show to like my podcast page, which is the Pro Wrestling Show. Like that page. Watch all my episodes of the Pro Wrestling Show podcast. That's right, episode 1 to episode 66. Hoof. Now, that's a lot of episodes. Yeah, and also watch all my episodes of the Pro Wrestling Show exclusives from episode 1 to episode 9. And all my promos as well. All my promos are absolutely phenomenal. And it will bring you up to date on what's to come on the Person Show Podcast. Well, that's going to do it on a great episode of the Person Show Podcast. Thank you, Pro Wrestling Universe, for tuning in this week. That's right. We are just three episodes away from episode 70 of the Person Show Podcast. So that is a great... So that is phenomenal on the show's history. Now, di- now be sure you subscribe to tune in to, to all my podcasts every Tuesday afternoon. Well, that's going to do it. This is the social media icon, and I will see you next week right here on the Pro Wrestling Show, and tune in for my upcoming Be Pro Wrestling Show podcast promo this coming Sunday. Enjoy me main event, which is in three hours on the WWE Network. And be ready for tomorrow night's Impact on Spike. It's going to be phenomenal, folks. See you this Sunday.